Well, hello there, motherfuckers. And uh, we're here with Link's Awakening. Yeah, that's right. I got it at GameStop today. I needed to get it. Uh, it's been a long time since I purchased a game at GameStop, but I felt it necessary. Uh, I had to get this game. There was, like, no choice in the matter. I had to do it, so, um... I picked it up, and, well, let's see here. Normal hero. Tw take twice as much damage with no heart drops for advanced players. Uh, even though I played this game on the Game Boy multiple times, I own it on my DS. I have the actual cartridge. We're going to go with normal for this one. Enter my name. L listen, guys... My name is not Link. Um, my name is Brad, if you haven't noticed. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. We've got Brad. What the? Oh, I I hate when they do that. Like the. Let me see something here. Oh, B is backspace. Oh, sometimes it's like confusing, like knowing what button it, you got to hit. All right, there we go. Brad. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Just <gasps> trying to do a little bit of Pee Wee right there. But, uh, here we go, guys. What a relief. Oh, this... Who doesn't like this art style? Come on, guys. If... Really. You ha you don't have a soul if you don't find this charming. I love this. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? <laughs> no, money's Marion. You must still... <laughs> be feeling a little woozy. And you don't know what I've been doing while you've been sleeping, Link. <laughs> okay, let, let's keep it clean. It's supposed to be a nice family Nintendo game. It's supposed to bring back childhood memories. You are on uh, Koholint Island. I always had trouble saying that because I, I don't... You ever, like, growing up as a kid, like, never say things right, no matter, you know, I think it's a, it's said Colint Island. Oh, I'm sorry. You are on Colint Island! <laughs> Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you watched the shore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful. <laughs> okay! And grab me a Starbucks while you're out there on the shore. <laughs> Here we go. So this is the Mario-inspired character. Whoa, well, Brad, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Taron. Hope you're feeling better. What? Hey, you know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of this here shield. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. You got your shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. Oh, what a coincidence. Guys, I just want to show you this controller that I'm playing with here. Right here. Look at check this out. So if anyone doesn't know what this is called, this is called a Power A controller. It's it's like a third party licensed by Nintendo, and I think it feels good. I've heard some people criticize this controller, but I would recommend that you guys try it out if you haven't already. Um, you know, despite what what some people say about it, it it's really not like a cheap um, controller. So I'm gonna move down here so you guys could see my hearts. Uh, so I'm I'm all set. Oh yeah, some other stuff like this washed upon the beach. If in you go look, watch out for monsters! Ever since you showed up, Brad, I've seen them all over the place. So I really love the music. I'm very curious to see how they remade it once you leave the house for the first time. Did she say anything else? 
But she still says the same thing. I've got to say, I really love this aesthetic. I am really... Lo and look at all the details that you couldn't notice when it was on Game Boy. Because, you know, it was originally just black and green. Look at all the pictures. The palm tree in here. All this extra stuff. That's really nice. So what's this? It is a stand for something that says Piranha Plant. Oh, that's odd. So the funny thing is you can smash pots in this game until you get the power bracelet. So that's really interesting. You know, let's see. Oh, check. It's the stand for something. It says Goomba. Oh, so you get to... Oh, so there's little extras in here. Little statues. So let's hear this. Let's 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 have a listen here. Hmm, the load times are kind of long. Make sure. I like that. See, look, it's a chain chomp. He can't hurt you. So this is not going to be a very long stream. I just wanted to share this experience with you guys. Um, you know, I thought it'd be really fun to just like check out the game together. You know, for the uh, for the first time because this is actually, believe it or not, I I said a long time ago. I know sometimes it might change, but this is my favorite Zelda game. It was actually the first Zelda game I played all the way through. Um. I don't find this charming. I can't hear the game. Well, can, can you hear it now? Let me check my settings here. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Good thing I checked the chat. There we go. Now you guys should be able to hear it. That's weird why the sound was turned all the way down to zero. Now now you should be able to hear it. Sorry about that, Gabble. Uh, I know not everyone is going to find it charming. So now, now you, yeah, you could hear it. Thanks for the thumbs up. See, this is what I was talking about. I really like this theme, like when you first come out, it's very mysterious. So, you know, the adventure that's awaiting you, it's kind of very foreboding. So everything is in the same spot here. I heard that you... I heard that you can press minus to look at the island map. Not only that, you can stick pins in it with A! Remember stuff with X? Ho oh! But I don't understand what they mean by that. I hear that when you're running out of hearts, you better go find a big fairy. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. And shut your mouth. You don't know what you're talking about. Just giving me a lot of bad hints, basically. That's, that's all these kids are here for. Damn kids! Get off my lawn! And they're really on the lawn. They're they're on the grass. I'm not kidding. What's? Oh, I like that. Like the little animals running around. Talk to this fox. Yep, yep. You know, I always thought that that was a dog in the Game Boy version. It's a fox. Get out of here. There's no way. Oh, whoa! Wait a second. The shop. I can't wait to see. I gotta love this. I love this music. And he looks the same way. Looks like, uh, you know, he's still got the Asian look to him. Hey, welcome! See something you like? Just bring it here. So, in the, um... In the Game Boy version, you could actually steal from this guy by going behind him. 
Looks like you could still do it, I, I bet. And th But then you get called thief for the rest of the game. You could actually pick up one of those items and carry it out the door. But then, like, instead of being referred to as Brad or Link, uh, whatever name you picked at the beginning of the game, the instead it will be replaced with the name Thief. Tail Cave. Tarambo Shores. So basically, we can't even attack anything. We could just basically block stuff. I, you know, I'm surprised, like, you know, I understand, you know, uh, like, if you don't find this charming, if it's not your style, um, but, uh, bright, uh, serif, uh, I can't pronounce that for some reason, but you don't find it charming, I, I get that, you know, some people, like, you know, if you're thinking about Twilight Princess, or Ocarina of Time, or mostly Twilight Princess, like the darkest game in the series. So there's the sword. And this, uh, the owl that I can never pronounce his name. And he doesn't, this is not the same owl as the one in Ocarina of Time, but this is where they got the idea for the owl, which is interesting. Hoot hoot! So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot! Hoot, hoot, hoot! Indeed. Well... Um. I just, I think this is a really good looking game. You found your sword, it must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. See, like, I want to see in the Game Boy version, if I go to the next scene, if he does the spinning slash and uh, it, it knocks the crab out of the way. Let's see if he does it. You could swing it with B to attack any enemies in your path. Oh no, I guess he wasn't standing close enough. Oh, here we go. This just, it, this look just works. This is so perfect. I know some people are probably, oh, it looks too kitty. I mean. It's a monkey. Looks like coconuts, right? From Sonic. It's just, to me, it, it, Above all else, if you don't like the art style or not, it's really cool seeing all these different characters in 3D. Because the game was back in 1993, it received a color remake, which they just basically colorized things, they didn't change a whole lot in the DX. Uh, not really a remake, the colorization for the Game Boy Color. But, you know, to see them fully realized in 3D, and I, I saw this um, in someone's review a few days ago. It was actually on the Electric Playground, uh, Victor Lucas. I thought this, the alligator looks great. Hey! Hey! That's Leatherhead from the Ninja Turtles, guys, except he's blue. Welcome to Sal's House of Bananas! I'm Sal, and this is my house! Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run the family. I guarantee! I guarantee! Oh, he's nice. You know, at least he doesn't eat us or anything like that. So we gotta head to the forest, guys. First, I think we're gonna take a stroll through the town, just talk to some people. Because I think that's very underappreciated. I like talking to people, like, in the Zelda games, but where are sea urchins? Don't touch them with your bare hands!
I mean, I like everything about this. The walk cycle. What, what happens if you go down here? Oh, okay. Was that hole there originally? I, I guess it was. So Link sounds different. He doesn't... It sounds like a different voice actor than who voiced him in Ocarina of, the t in, of Time. Because isn't his voice pretty much the same in all of the games? Pretty much. Same voice actor. That's the library. I'm not gonna bore you looking through those books. It just pretty much tells you how to play the game and everything. Tells you about different little things. I like how they remix this music. It sounds really good. Ho ho ho! My Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fair coat. He doesn't have fur, lady. He's made out of, like, freaking metal. He's a ball. <laughs> I and I think this I get a real kick out of like there being um the uh, the Mario characters in this game. I, I always thought that was a nice little touch. Yahoo! I'm fine in you. What does this kid have to say? Once you get something in the prize area at the trendy game, it's yours. We've been trying to win that Yoshi doll for our mom. I wonder if it's any harder, th like in the Game Boy game, um, th if this is harder than the Game Boy game. So this is the trendy game shop, it's like a crane game. There's Yoshi! 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 Trendy game, one play, ten rubies. Let's see if I could get it. Oh, I don't have enough rubies? Thought I did. Alright, now we got enough. So let's go back in and play that damn game. Trendy game! One play, ten rubies. The buns move the crane, the rest is just timing. Go over to the buns and play good luck. Alright, so... I'm... All right, let me see. X and A. Oh, I didn't know that... Ah, uh, if you take your finger off of it, that's it? Ah, oh, come on! It sounds like they didn't even change the Japanese voice actor there. Oh, I got my first seashell. You found a secret seashell, but what do you do with it? I'll tell you. Spoiler alert! You'll use them to collect- yeah. Well, no, I, I messed up. The controls are like... I don't know, they were a little bit weird there, but apparently I had to hold down A to bring it to the right. Yeah, those real- it, I'll tell you, those real crane games in real life, I am convinced that they are completely rigged. It's not like skill, it's not all in the wrist, those things like I have like never won one in my entire life. So here so we got we got a little bit more here. We, we got, well, I made it back to um enough rubies. I just missed one there. But um let's try this again. Alright, so what is it? So, ba oh, okay, so I think you get one move forward, and then you get one to the right. 
Huh? 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 I can't challenge again. I don't have enough. I thought I... I was close, I guess. Alright. Oh, let me get another ruby so I don't have to come back out here. There, okay, so I get two tries at it. I'm gonna get that damn doll! Yucky! Uh. Alright, let me see here. Oh, okay, so look at the shadow. That's kind of... Uh-oh! Uh-huh! Yes! Oh, and it's gonna stay that way? Oh, no! I don't want to do that! Should Oh, I just should have went for the heart. My heart! Oh, come on! Yeah, Gabbo, I, I think you're right. I think this game is rigged. I think if it was the Game Boy version, that would have been it. They made this more like a real game. Like the, like the real Crane game. Damn, Crane. Like, that it was... Oh, my God. It really was like the real Crane game. It was like right in the clutches. And it was like, nope! Alright. Now, now we got two tries here. Alright, I'm gonna make this like my last try and then I'll go into the forest after this. So... I gotta like move up just a little bit. All right. Oh, oh, it goes back. Oh, so I should just exit out then. All right, let me see here. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh. Uh. <laughs> no, why would I want to do that? I'll come back for the heart later. You got a Yoshi doll? You can't count how many games you've seen him in now. And the funny thing is, that was like written back in 1993. Been in like 20 more games since then. 30 games. Whoa, you won the Yoshi doll. You've been trying to do that. We've been trying to do that forever. Her mom is really desperate to have one. Way to go. Our mom's going to be so jealous, huh? Oh, she's probably back at our house. The one up north with the two doors. Oh, so that, that's right. I have to give it to her. Because I'm a nice guy. I'm the hero, guys. The hero. So this guy actually in the Game Boy version, he he looked like Mickey Mouse originally. Now he actually looks like a human being. Uh. Yep, those my boys. I'm Papel. Pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me here. <laughs> it's like he knows he's gonna get lost. He's pretty sad and pathetic. Uh. 
Oh, will you give me that Yoshi doll? To my baby? No. Tis tis, what a shame. Nah, I'm gonna give it to her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Uh, I will give you this in return. You trade your Yoshi doll for a ribbon. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. Well, of course I can. With four boys who look alike, even I get confused sometimes. What a nice guy I am, right? I gave that to a mother in need. There's Marin, she says. Hi, Taryn. Went to the forest to look for toadstools, but I'd rather sing. Listen to this. It's called The Ballad of the Windfish. That kind of reminds me on an Ocarina of Time. Um... What's her name? Uh, Milan? On Lon Lon Ranch? The same thing she like sings? Mysterious forest moblins ahead. They're not friendly. Hoot! Ho! Brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of my mystery you will find on this uncharted cold and island. I'm afraid that you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the wind fish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching, Hoot! So, can't you, like, go fly and get it for me, maybe? Would that be too much to ask? I like, I, I can't stress enough how much I like this music. I'm really digging it. Oh, there's a Moblin. Oh! They look good in this game. I gotta tell you guys, I really disagree with anyone who's saying they're not feeling this art style. Because I, I certainly, for one, am. I mean, I think it looks great. I think it looks really charming. I think I'm in love. Beware of floors or cracks don't get too comfortable on them. So we all know what happens when we go up here. Look, <laughs> the raccoon. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Powder! Powder! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to be lost, thanks to me. <laughs> Art style is unique. Yeah, it's like, it's nothing like I've seen before. But like I said, you know, I totally understand. You know, some people probably want this to be like Twilight Princess. And guys, I'm a massive fan of Twilight Princess. I think it's a great game in all honesty. But, um, you know... Come on, it, it, it's like, it's not the be-all, end-all of all Zelda art styles. Like, I wasn't too crazy about the Wind Waker at first until I played the game and I looked at it for a while. Then it started to look really good to me. Oh, there's the fairy. Let's hear you wounds and get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. As I grab for your elongated blade. <laughs> no. Behave. Oh, behave. Yeah. 
So I think I'm not actually supposed to go in that cave. Cause I, I kind of know this game inside and out. Um, I guess I'll keep my mouth shut for people who don't know about it. So no, we we don't want to go there yet. You know, to me, like, I saw people also complaining, it's $60! This game is... It's a Game Boy game! But the thing is, guys, you realize that you're, like, paying for the hard work, the sweat and the tears that went into making this game? Like, they did not, like, just throw us together in two minutes. I mean, this is a... This is a complete game. This is a classic experience. And you also gotta remember, it's gonna be a lot of, like, younger fans who, you know, were born in the 2000s and stuff that have never experienced this game before. And to them, uh, I would really recommend that you go and take a look at the Game Boy game. You know, get it on the 3DS shop, get the, the, the DX version for the DS, for the 3DS. And, um, you know, you might be disappointed at the playing this game because it looks pretty... You know, simplistic in comparison, and it's not as bright and colorful. And that's the other thing about this game, the usage of colors. Say, I don't know. You know, we all have our own preferences. But I really like the usage of color, I think it looks really good. But, you know, go back and play that original game. And... I think you'll... Oh, oh they still I forgot about this thing piece of power you can feel the energy flowing through you so after you like defeat like 10 enemies or something you get this and you're, you become super powerful look how the enemies just go they fly across the screen so there's a lot of unique little uh facets to this game things that are exclusive you got 50 rubies very nice so yeah that that piece of power is, is pretty cool I like that's a nice little touch. Uh, let me see. Can I? I forget. Can I get to that right now? I think I can. Oh no! I screwed that up. So you hear this music? Okay, so you guys have played Breath of the Wild. That that this is what um the shrine theme is based on. You hear that? That's you know, so there, there's a little bit of history for you. Just educating you there on them them sell the facts. It's really important stuff. Can't get a job. You can't go through life without knowing that type of stuff, guys. Just you know, keep that in mind. Your you know your boss is gonna ask you that on your next interview. Say ya, uh, Johnson. Oh yeah, I gotta have the um the power bracelet. Say there, Johnson. You look like a, a pretty uh, competent worker there. Hey, <laughs> well thank you, sir. I really appreciate you saying so, Mr. Steven. Okay, Johnson. So the charade, it's over. So what I really need to know. What I need to know above else is what kind of a man you are. What kind of experience you got. Well, sir, I, I, I've got 10 years of customer service experience. Oh, you do? Well, Johnson, that's mighty impressive. But it doesn't really matter here. You know what matters? Zelda. Zelda, sir? That's right. Uh, sir, I'm applying... I'm, I'm applying to be a sales representative. It doesn't matter what you're applying to be for there, Johnson. In my company, people need to <laughs> they need to know about Zelda. They don't need to know about sales and retail and stuff like that. You know what they need to know about? They need to know about Zelda facts. That's what they need to know about. And you need to know what is the, the shrine theme in Breath of the Wild based on? Uh, sir, I, I'm not sure if I know the answer to that. Johnson, get out of my office. There's no way I could hire you. 
<laughs> anyway, give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, sorry guys. I I had that on mute. Um. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the um the box art, um, and uh, like I said, this right here is um this is the, this is the promotional material basically that they made into the box art. But I like how it represents the game. So you know, box art sometimes they'll like show a picture that has like really nothing to do like with the in game but right here it's pretty accurate um in game model of link so i i really like how they did that the wind fi uh, fish egg right up there um shows you you know coal and island so i think it was a pretty good box so people might not care about that but i, th I thought it was a nicely put together box um nice box art there uh, but anyway, let's get back to the game. So, um, so yeah, we picked up the, uh, the mushroom. 
Now I didn't realize I was, I was on mute before. So what I was saying basically was like it says that aroma fills your nostrils. It, says it probably smells like fungus. It smells like mold. It's it's a mushroom that's been sitting in this dark, dank forest with all this haziness surrounding you for like uh, I don't know how many decades or centuries. Oh, these are wow! I like how they see. That's different. Now you have to block and then uh, hit them with the sword, the, the moblin. So, um, like that little combat touch that they made there. I like that touch too that they gave the bats uh, the glowing eyes. I haven't seen that yet. I, you know, you think back to all the Zelda games, you don't really get to see the. Uh, the I think I think it's keys. So I don't think it's keys. Um, is when James Ralph was talking about them in his uh, Zelda video, he called them um, uh, keys. I think it's keys. That's how I always pronounced it. I don't think you ever got to see their eyes. This is like the first time you actually get to see that, so that's a nice little touch. Another nice little touch in a series of nice little touches for this game. So this one doesn't even have a shield. Uh, so we want to go over here. Like I said, if I if it seems like I'm not that confused on what to do, that's because I've played through this game a few times. I also did a playthrough on the Game Boy like two years ago, so it's still fresh in my mind, but I don't really mind because I said this is like my favorite Zelda game. So let's see here. Ah, it has the sleepy toadstool it does. Or I'll mix it up something in a jiffy. We will. Oh, see, now this I like. Uh, I really like her little hut here that they made for her and the look of the witch. I think that this was really nicely put together. I mean, take a look at this. It's already it is. Take care, as there's not too much there. And why not try a bit in my hut? Well... See, this is the other good thing about this game, too, is um, when you used to play this on the, uh... Oh, I just wasted, okay. You used to have to decide between the shield and another weapon. Um, so now, look, you could do X, Y. Uh, you could select all these different things and still use your shield. Now, if you wanted to use the sword and the shield, do you know that you, could act you had to actually swap those out for other items? And that might sound a little bit weird when you think about all the other Zelda games. Where it was pretty much just, you know, by default. You know, what, what, what can you ever say, like, in a Zelda game that you could, like, unequip the sword? Well, besides Breath of the Wild, I mean, that's a different story with the, uh, the way they handle the weapons in that game. But in every other Zelda game, it was always, you know, the sword, you always had the sword. You know. Crazy Tracy, Mondo's Pond. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil it. It's like really hard for me to um you know not do spoilers because it's like I know this game and I wanna say so badly what's gonna happen next, but for the benefit of everyone watching, I will uh not spoil it. So let's see what this goofball says here. It's, it's funny, he like he already tricked me, but they do the same thing in the Game Boy game. It's like, 
he acts like he, he didn't like just do all those illusions to me and, and make my life a living hell. So look, look here. Sprinkle the dust on him and he goes. <laughs> that, that part actually looks a little funnier in the Game Boy version, I will say. The last thing I can remember was binding to a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darnest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was fun. So let's see what he's got to say here. I'm old Tucker out. I think I better set a spell before I head home. So now that we dealt with the uh, raccoon, so it, it was uh, Taron the whole time. We should probably just stab him with the sword right now for all the trouble he causes, but we're the hero, so we can't do that. Um, so let's open up the chest. We got the tail key. You got the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave gate. Hold! Take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The wind fish is waiting. Hoot! to head back to the shore now and uh we're gonna go through the dungeon or you know i don't know if i'm gonna complete the whole dungeon on this stream but uh, we'll see how far we get because i still have to get up for work uh, early tomorrow so um you know I i'll stream a little bit more because i'm Honestly, I know if I end the stream, I'm probably gonna just play this by myself, so. Um. Oh, so let's do the telephone booth. So there's this guy that, like, always calls you. Hello, it's me, Orira. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Oh, it's actually supposed to be an old man, so... You know there is a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Talk to you later. Yeah. So, oh, he's actually in this house. This is where, um, Ulrich, or however you say his name, what's his name? Old man, uh, Ulrich. Ulrich. Such a weird name. <laughs> Ulrich. Er, uh, hmm. How to say. Please call outside. It seems that old man Ulrich is a shy guy in person. Bring, bring, click. Yes, it's the bucket mouse. Thanks for calling. Well, click. What the? You must have dialed a wrong number. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's actually, um... Let's do the fishing game. Just to show you guys. Um, no records set yet. Give it a try. So this guy must have no money, because there's like no records, no one fishes here. Uh, how about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you ten rubies. Okay. Here's how you do it. Hold A and release it to cast your line out. The longer you hold it, the farther you cast. You can tug on your line by moving 
Well, that, um, well, the left trigger. If you want to reel it in in a hurry, keep tapping A real quick. You got this, little buddy. I picture that guy kind of having like a Bob Ross kind of voice for some reason. So we actually want to get the, the the fish at the bottom. Oh, that little fish is gonna get it. Oh no. Let's see if the big fish does it. Come on. Oh, I thought when you reel it in, that's the end of the game. Um, and then you have to, like, pay him again. Oh, okay, this was perfect, because now we're going to bring it all the way down. Alright, now I'll start reeling in. Come on. Do it. Bite it. That's weird. Why is he not biting it? So they would go on to do the fishing game in, um... What was it? Uh, uh, Ocarina of Time. I think they also had it in uh, Majora's Mask. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, here we go. Oh, I got a... I got a rat. Ah. Oh, what's the point of doing that? Because now he just, like, ran away. Now, we'll, we'll come back to that. See, I messed up because I wasted too much time. I didn't tap it quick enough and all that. It's also rigged. That one is a little bit tough, but I, I want to come back to that. I don't want to like waste my time uh, doing those little mini games and stuff. That could be done at another time. Uh, but there is, I think, there's a heart inside the belly of the fish. So there's a tail cave. So the map is like relatively small. It's big for Game Boy. That's what many people complain about. Oh, it's too small. You know, I, I get why people. What happens if you get a normal fish? I, I think it's just rubies. I think you get like 20 rubies or something. It's not really worth it. Those fish are just pretty much there. They're, su they're supposed to like when you start wiggling the, uh, the lore. It's supposed to attract uh, the little fish. They're just supposed to be like as a... Uh, just something to get in the way. Okay, these things look way more evil than they did in the Game Boy version. So here's the uh, Super Mario uh, Turtles with the hard shells. Oh, I like how that just falls like that. It always did, but I don't know, it just has a different look to it, you know? Oh, we got the, uh, piece of power. Is that, isn't that like pizza power? Alright, we got the compass. You got the compass, now you can see where the chest and nightmare are hidden. The compass as a new feature, a tone, will tell you if a uh, key is nearby. There's just a lot of nice little animations in this game. You have to admit, like, you know, 
Nah, I don't know, guys. It's just like, I, I just don't see how people don't like it. Um, I really, really am enjoying this this style for Zelda. For, mostly for this specific game. I don't know if it would work for other games, but it really works for this one. It's got the same little, uh, mystery tone there. Alright, we got the key. Comes into the chest. Oh, this thing. You got the Guardian, you're gonna reduce your damage you take by half. See, another, like, power-up. Another, uh, Zel you know, Zelda exclusive here, a, right? uh... Link's Awakening exclusive. You got 20 rubies. Joy! Oh! Alright, let's go in this room here. Beagle statue is saying something. You can't make it out. Well, that's all you have to do is just move that. Flip these over with your shield. Like I said, if it seems like I really know, like what I'm doing, like how the hell did I play this before? Well, because this game is a remake, um, and I'm very familiar with this game. A veteran and I played through it like two years ago it went on the DS so I have the cartridge so here we go guys listen so it's kind of supposed to be a little bit like the underground theme in, in Super Mario Brothers but look it's the Goombas the Goombas are in this game aren't they Mario characters well this is one of the only games where they cross them over. Now, Link did appear in a little Easter egg in Super Mario RPG, but as far as like Super Smash Bros., this is like one of the only times when those universes cross. That's pretty cool, right? And we got the Rock's Feather, which you got the Rock's Feather, it feels like your body is a lot lighter. So this is pretty much the jump in the game. So we'll sign that to X. And now we can jump. So you can only, I guess you can only have uh, two items selected. You know, besides your, so your sword and the shield. But remember, in the Game Boy game, that was all you got, basically. You, um... You know, I couldn't have if I had the magic power in the in the rock's feather uh, equip as enabling me to jump right here. I couldn't have this sword and I couldn't have the shield with me. So you know, it's, it's nice to be able to have you know. So basically, like I wouldn't really be able to hurt anything in other words. So it, it's nice to actually have something that does damage, as well as having the cool other weapons along for the ride. So that was a big complaint. I still love the Game Boy game original, but you know. I don't know, after having this version and really enjoying it so far, I think... Oh, so we can bomb that wall. You know how we know that, guys? Well, look at it. And here. You hear the difference? So, uh, I think there's bombs in here. We have to collect them first. So we're gonna, I think we'll get them like in the next room or so. Wait, what's up here? I forget. Oh, I have to 
shove him down the hole. Get in the hole, buddy. <laughs> I love it. It's like it's like watching a cartoon, guys. You don't like cartoons? Is that why you don't like it? All right, we got the nightmare key. We got the big key. You got the nightmare key. Now you can open the door to the nightmare's lair. So the nightmare is the um is the boss. That's the main boss in the game. Uh, in the uh, the dungeon rather. So the, anything these don't move, right? See, I I don't remember everything. I don't remember every single inch. Which is good, because that would, you know, be a little bit boring if we remember every single thing about the game. That nah, doesn't do anything. And that's a one-way... Alright, so here we're gonna go in here, and... There's a Staffo. Oh! Come over here. It's like walking around... Like real random. I'm over here. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, th this is annoying. I'll tell you this. You gotta like match them all up. It looks really cool here though. So you have to match them. So I gotta get a heart. Ah, come on. Alright, one more. There we go. I got it. Oof. I'm, I'm actually surprised I did it that fast. What do we got here? We got the beak. You found the stone beak. Now open. Now the fine and owl statue to fit it into. That's going to be here. Turn aside the spine ones with the shield. Well, we already knew that. <laughs> And here's the boss. And he's not too tough. You know, you just slash him. Jump over this. Pretty cool looking though. The mini boss theme, I gotta say, I actually like the 8-bit rendi rendition a little bit better. Now that I've listened to so that. Okay, that's a warp point. If I die, that's going to be at the beginning of the dungeon here. Take a look. So now, this is an easy warp point. I could get back over there. And... Oh, is that the nightmare room already? Well, I don't want to go there just yet. I think there's an item here for me to have. That's pretty dark. <laughs> I, I mean, look at it. You know, there's like guys being hanged in a dungeon. Uh, like, who were those guys, and like, who put them there? You know, think think about that. So I didn't get any bombs yet. I don't know what that stuff is hiding. Could have sworn you get them in the first dungeon. So let's get in here. And it's time to fight the boss already, so it's a pretty short dungeon. Buzz, buzz, outsider. So this is a uh, mole dorm. I don't know if he was called the same thing, but this boss is in uh, A Link to the Past. I like that rendition. That sounds pretty good. So you have to, like, if you get knocked off here, I think you have to start all over again. But you just, all you have to do is just basically hit that. He's dead already. He didn't even knock me off. Get the heart. You got a heart container, your maximum number of hearts increase, and your... Health has been refilled too. Ah, there's the uh, the violin. That's one of the musical instruments. Take. 
You got the full moon cello. Oh, excuse me, it's not a violin, it's a cello. It's a very small looking cello, though. opens in the blooms. So what is that whispering thing called? It's called uh, ASMR or whatever. You know, so there's like a, a whisper in the wind. Does that, does that turn Link on, I guess? Does that really get his uh, Triforce going? You know? So here's the owl. Oot, that is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north in uh, Kopanka Swamp. Hot indeed. Head to the swamp. I don't know why I was thinking that the fields was next. Um, in the blooms, like I don't, I don't really think of like the word bloom when I think of uh. So this is pretty cool. You see how you can actually see uh, the town back here. You can't even see the town in the Game Boy version. So it's nice that they they look like they're connected. Hey, buddy. It's serious, real serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right, a whole gang of Moblins. Then it's, it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something to Bow Wow. It was a really bad scene. <laughs> a really bad scene, man. With the Moblins. So, I mean, ah! Oh my god, calm down. These kids are, like, going freaking nuts. Look at this. It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Man. Yeah. Well, there's, a. Uh, the Aye, it's terrible. My bow wow was dog napped by moblins. Oh, ah, please, somebody help my poor bow wow. Oh, I guess, you know, once again, Link has to go and do something for someone else. So I forgot to get this before. It's a hard piece. Oh, so, um... Oh, we, we haven't even saved yet. Okay, now we're saved. Um... I want to look at the heart pieces. Oh, look at this. This map is so... Wow, that's a pretty, uh... Sexy-looking map. Memories. Oh, wow, they keep a log of, like, the script and everything. That's pretty cool. Oh, Wow, I, I like that. That That's pretty cool that they added that feature in. Lots of nice little touches, like, you know, really going the extra mile here. A lot of extra little features to really make this feel like a full-fledged remake without changing the original game too much. Because, I mean, the, the map is still the same, the enemies are still the same, just the music is just updated. Piece of power. So, you know, you, you have like a lot of modern conveniences here. 
Like I said, not all the music is better, but, you know, I, I really like the style, so... Oh, here, let's jump over this pit. There's the like-likes. They don't look as, like, jelly, though, like, right? <sighs> Mr. Right, well, I pretty much stick to myself. Me and my letters, my name's Right. <sighs> the only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. So this guy's from another game. I, I forget what it, where he's from. Let me see. Where was he from again, Mr. Right? In Link's Awakening. I'm gonna tell you guys in one second where he was from. Oh, from Sim City. He was a uh what was he? He was uh based on an advisor in the original Sim City who had a nearly identical appearance and name Mr. Wright. The theme that plays in Mr. Wright's house is also from the SNES version of Sim City, where it serves as Mr. Wright's theme. Alright, so he's from from Sim City. Um if you want to see where I'm uh, reading that. Uh, give me one second here. Take a look right here. See? Mr. Wright. So that's, that's basically where he's from. So, you know, they, they threw in Mario, they threw in SimCity, um, you know, a lot of little references to different games. So that's what I'm saying, it's a very interesting Zelda game. That's, well, I don't think I can really go in here yet. Yeah, see? I need the power bracelet, I need the Pegasus boots, I need a lot of different things to uh, traverse the rest of the map. So I like that, you know, you can't go the whole map just yet. I know people say it limits your freedom and everything. Oh, Breath of the Wild didn't do that. Well, you know... I kind of like that, you know, that it doesn't always, everything doesn't have to always be so open-ended. Sometimes it being linear is good too. So let's see here, so... Bring, bring, hello, this is Olira. Well, most moblins live in mysterious forests, but some live in the caves of Total Heights. I hope that is what you wanted to know. Click. Alright, so we gotta go into the swamp here. Danger, keep out, except Bow Wow. Uh, so, I forget how we're supposed to get around all this junk. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. We're not supposed to go through this swamp, we're supposed to go around it. See, so I don't really remember everything. So, jump over this. That will, uh, will go inside that tree trunk later on in the adventure. That's like a lot later on. Oh, get the hard piece. Let's see. Tall, tall heights. Oh, it's right over here. The wind fish in name only for it is neither. Well, okay then. <laughs> oh, and that's right, Dampy is in the game. That's like you could make your own dungeon in this game. So that comes into play, I'm guessing, later on. I mean, maybe we could go there now, but I'm probably not going to do that here tonight. Eh? Who's this suspicious looking run? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Alright, so. Keep forgetting we have to do this. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. See, that's cool that you could, uh... Jump over the spears. I mean, I guess you could do that in the Game Boy version, but here it's more pronounced. Oh, look at this. You must be an assassin, Simpa. Madam, meow meow, to rescue the mud. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, he has to do that, that's right. Whoa, okay. The sword didn't do anything to him. Hmm. Wait a second. I, am I supposed to have bombs or something? Let's try this again. Oh, you didn't get dizzy, that's why. Probably like it's probably just there we go, we got him. So there's a uh, bow wow. You say bow wow, what a fearsome beast. So we're gonna take him for a walk. On you mangy mutt. It's funny how we could just, you know, they're tameable here, but like in Mario, they, they want to kill him. Hoot! That is a fearsome. That is a fearsome looking animal. I almost forgot the voice there for a minute. You have that. Do not forget, the next instrument is in the. Got, how do you say this again? Golpanga? Gopanga Swamp. Oh, there's Dampy. It's from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Let's see what he's got to say here. Hey, you made it out of here. Dead speaks well of you. But maybe you can help me out with a little job. I'm Dampy, and my job around this island is to dig up interesting stuff. When you have some time to spare, come see me in my shack over there. You're just a grave digger. That's all you are, pal. So we gotta take him through the swamp. He has to eat those plants that are in there. Dig, I don't even have a shovel. <laughs> How am I supposed to do that? I think I have to buy the shovel, right? Oh, I can't... Oh, they, he can eat those things. So eat that one. What are you waiting for? I think these things regenerate anyway, but let's just have them eat them all. He 
Eat it! What is he doing? Okay, eat it. There you go. Alright, so this is the second dungeon over here. Let's go in there. See, the other thing I like is that the um, the dungeons all have different music, uh, which I really like a lot. Wait, what are you supposed to do here again? Oh. Oh, so you need the dust. I'm thinking of ending this stream soon. I don't know if I'm going to go through this whole dungeon, but I'm finding it very hard to stop playing here because I'm really enjoying myself, but... Gotta stop sometime. Here. So we're going the wrong way. We gotta go this way first. Digging his music, though. I really like what they've done with the soundtrack in this game. So it sounds really good. Right, we found the uh, the owl beak. Get in the hole. No, you guys gonna say that's what she said. Oh, God, I just just bit the big one. need the power bracelet for that at least those things stay lit so you don't have to keep on wasting because the thing is about that magic powder you only get it from that witch wait a second part of the floor is raised tap the shining crystal get the other key. See, this is where I kind of tend to forget certain things. Alright, what am I... So, I don't really have anything where I could reach over there. Yeah, I don't have a key. Hmm. Okay, was I supposed to maybe kill him? That's weird. 
There's no key. And I'm obviously doing something wrong in this room. Alright, I think it's just something stupid that I'm not doing here. supposed to hit here hmm okay I don't know I'm not thinking about this clearly here because I feel like this is not really that hard just kind of forgetting what am I supposed to do here oh wait a second Oh, I'm an idiot. That's what you're supposed to do. I thought you couldn't touch it because it was in there. There's okay. There's my key. Oh, duh. Oh, okay. Oh, so I, I lied. There is magic powder right there. What's in there? Is it like the compass or is that just rubies? That's another key. Well, let me go back over here and see what I've... What's down here? this like being like this <laughs> oh th there we go so those are the shy guys from Super Mario Brothers 2 and they were also in other Mario games after that so another reference there also piranha plants appear in this game as well so you know, so many different things to like about this game, even if you don't like the art style. I mean, you gotta find something to appreciate in this game. Something. I like I said, guys, I gotta repeat it again. I personally love it. I think it looks really good. In fact, it looks more than just really good. I think it looks outstanding. I'm really it's part of the enjoyment is just how great the game looks. Okay, so do I have to go around? Yes, I do. Alright, now we're maxed out on the magic powder. Flip these guys. And the. Oh, I'm not even mean. See, I get the buttons confused sometimes for some reason. Okay, I think there's a staircase somewhere here. Make every block design the same, a new path will open. Oh. Staircase. Let's go down it. And this is this is really cool. The 3D parts. Uh, I mean, we saw this already, but 
Wow, I really like the way... Look how realistic those stones look. I don't know if... Let me see... On OBS here, how that looks. No, you know something? They look really, like, washed out here. On, uh, on OBS. If you really... Um... You know, play the game. You'll see that the, the like the granite really pops out. Really looks awesome. So that that's a real shame that doesn't translate as well uh, onto the uh, computer screen as it does on my TV. That's a real shame because I really want you guys to take a look at that. So that's a different kind of door. Uh, here we go. This is where you get the bombs, if I'm not mistaken. Oh! But the, those flipping doors, that's kind of like those young Frankenstein, like those bookcases that spin around. Oh no! Oh no! Whoa! I like how he laughs at you <laughs> every time he throws you. Well, who's laughing now, huh? We got the checkpoint, we got it all. Alright, let's get those hearts. Full health. What does this say? First, defeat the imprisoned pole's voice, last, the skeletal staffles. Oh, whoa. Let's do that. We got the map. Because I know that thing didn't look that cool in the Game Boy. I, I kind of remember that thing that sucked you in. Wants to pull me down the hole, basically. Uh, okay, I think the power bracelet's coming up. Not here, but uh, in this room. Oh, look, it's the booze, guys. Is this the, this has to be the power bracelet, right? Yep, that it is. It's the power bracelet. Now we could, uh... Oh, wait a second. And you know what the funny thing is? They just made it a power in this game. You just press the A button. And you don't have to equip it. Love this game. This was an individual item in the Game Boy version, so now you don't have to worry about that nonsense. Now you could just simply lift up the items and throw them. Um, that was a really good decision. I was wondering what they were going to use the uh, the A button for, and that's what they're going to be using it for in this game. That's a great choice. We got uh, another small key. Oh, okay, that thing got stuck on me. Oh, I didn't even see that hole. Knock this thing off the ledge already. Damn. think these things do anything but you know I always like to just check anything over here no, just pots basically I keep thinking there's a roll move in this game because the other day I was just, you know, in preparation for this game, I've been playing um, Four Swords Adventures on the GameCube. Great game, by the way. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to kill the Poles voice first. Uh, 
Does it matter what order I kill the keys in? Oh, that's how I get him. Okay. Staff holes. And this is last? Oh. Okay, so it's the pole's voice. Why? Did they, they didn't even say anything about the keys. Come on. Now that, okay, that was it. So the keys was second. So that's the other thing I'm going to still think in this game, because I was playing Four Swords for so long. I'm going to think that you could just, um, you know, hit the, the pots and break them with your sword. You can't do that in this game. You actually have to uh, pick them up and throw them. Oh, see, there's the piranha plants. I just want to check on something before we go over there. Is there anything over here? I feel like there is something. So there is a, there's a staircase here too. What does this lead to? Oh, see that? You see the thwomp right there? It's gonna lower down. See, the weight of the pot makes me go downward. Oh, okay, that's the, um, that's the nightmare key. So, before we do that, let's, um, let's check to see what was on that other staircase. I don't really think there's much there, but it's worth a look. I'm forgetting I could jump. Or, well, I have to lift these first. Then we'll go back over there. We'll beat the boss, and then after that, we're just gonna end the stream, basically, right there. Um, this is 10 o'clock, and uh, I've got work tomorrow, so... And I think you guys have seen me stream enough of over an hour and a half already of Link's Awakening. You pretty much got the gist of it. So check out the Piranha Plants here. Pretty awesome. Oh, so that just brings us back over here. Okay, that's... Shortcut of sorts? I mean, I already have the warp point, so... Don't really see the point of that, but anyway. So, with, I think the only thing I didn't get is that chest at the beginning. I could get that later on, but for now, we are going to, uh, I need some hearts. I should have actually got that before. I was really like full health before going to the boss. Oh, well, my wishes have been answered there because I just got a fairy. Um, and... <laughs> I like that sound when he pushes the wall. That's, that's cute. So here we go. We're at the nightmare, the boss's door. Oh, okay, and well, that's a nice way of starting off. Open the door. We're gonna go right in, and uh...
No. So I really like this boss. Ho ho ho! I'm your bad guy this time. Ho ho ho! Genie. Didn't he have a different name in the uh, in the Game Boy game? He's gonna throw this. Fire at me, whoa! Sword won't break this battle. Even the walls here are look tougher than that dinky thing. Well, I'm gonna throw it right into the wall. No, no, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Oh, well, wait a second. I thought that's what you needed to do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why does it look like I'm not damaging it? Oh, okay, I have to throw it right into there? You make me hopping mad! Alright, so pretty much the dog is the same, or that's different, this attack is a little... I don't remember that. <laughs> so he, they, I think they changed his attack a little bit, because I think he just used to throw fireballs. Oh, okay, so, well, here's our opportunity. Okay, so I'm pretty sure now we got everything in the dungeon. So let's uh, take the war point. Oh, okay, so that... So that is actually helpful to have that, because that could just bring us right over here. One full health. There we go. Alright, so we just gotta go back downstairs. Ah, come on, stupid Paul's voice. I didn't even know you could face that way. That's kind of cool. These walls are so, like, it sounds, like, silly, but you gotta just see it when you actually, like, play the game. This is not doing it justice over here. You have to actually see how good it looks. It looks really good, don't, like, really good on the Switch, on your TV. Alright, so here we are back at the Genie. Alright, so round two. So, now we know we have to throw him into the door. Wait a second. Oh, you have to like throw it a few times. I think that's it. That, okay. So, that's kind of weird. Because it doesn't like... It used to go in the Game Boy version. Here it doesn't do that, which is a little bit strange. Oh, but you kind of see the cracks forming on it. Okay, that, that, that makes a little bit more sense, the cracks, but I kind of like that from the Game Boy version. That sound effect that they had. So this is more of a homing attack this time around.
think maybe like one more hit probably should do it. That's basically it for him. And we got another heart piece. And we got the the horn. Fill that horn with oil. You got the conchorn. Kind of reminds me of the Huntsman from Super, uh, from Freakazoid. <laughs> Anyone remember that? <laughs> Probably not, but, uh, you should prepare, prepare. The prairie is waiting, right? What is it called? ASMR, right? <laughs> the prairie is waiting. The prairie is waiting. Oh, my God. All right, guys, so... I think that's about enough. We've been playing long enough. I've got to get to bed. Well, I hope you guys all enjoy me streaming um, Link's Awakening. It was a lot of fun. And if you're watching that this here on Twitch, if you're watching an archive, um, if you've been silent during the stream, thank you to everyone who stopped by. Um, well, thank you, Gabble, for stopping by. Uh, appreciate it, man. Um, that was, you know, really nice chatting with you. Thanks for watching tonight. And um, if you're not familiar with me here on Twitch, you could always come subscribe to me over on YouTube where I've got way more of a following. I've got about six and a half uh, thousand great subscribers. Um, I've been on YouTube for 10 years, a whole decade. Um, so that's the Brad Rules. Just put in youtube.com slash the Brad Rules. And if you're watching this archived on YouTube, because it will be archived on YouTube, just uh, put in twitch.tv slash the Brad Rules or just simply search the Brad Rules over on Twitch and you will find me and you'll be able to watch these streams live. And I'd really appreciate a follow over there as well. And uh, thank you guys and I'll, I'll see you for the next stream. And I hope you all have a good night.